this video you will learn all the basics of custom keyboard mapping in virtual dj if you are new to scripting in virtual dj then you are in the right place because i'm going to guide you step by step from beginner to the pro level so that you can master custom keyboard mappings and start calling yourself a no controller dj i'm dj zako as always if you are new here please consider to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out this is going to be a long topic so i will break into episodes to keep things interesting let's dive right in to start mapping your keyboard, you need to first click on this settings gear icon, then navigate to controllers from wherever you are. For fresh new custom mappings, you need to make sure that the factory default is selected from here. This editor's layout is for advanced users only, you can only use it if you can write a full script for an action. This layout is for later versions starting from 2023. So now what we need to do is to click on this advanced editor. It takes you to the layout of 2021 and earlier versions. And this is the best layout for beginners. When I started my custom keyboard mapping journey as a beginner, this is how it looked like. And I believe it will work for you too after showing you the technique I used. We are going to focus mainly on three areas from here for the start. The box for the key, action, and this pin. You will click on this box for the key and then press a button on a keyboard that you want to sign an action. Then you will suppose to come and type an action here. Let's say you wanted the space key to be the play and pause button. But we are not going to write anything here for now because it is our first day. Instead, we are going to take advantage of this pin. Clicking this pin takes us to the main interface of Virtual DJ, allowing us to assign an action to this key from the Virtual DJ's interface. So let's click it and make this button to act as a play and pause button. As you can see, we did not write an action here, but we have gotten some script under the box for action, which says play underscore button. Let's choose another key and we assign an action by following the same procedure. Now our ALT key works as a CHEW button. Let's add one more key that will act as a SYNC button. What happens here is that when we are choosing a key, we don't write an action. But when we pin an action to the key, we also obtain the script. That's how you will be able to map any action to other keys on a keyboard. From the virtual DJ's main interface, any area here that can be clicked with the mouse can be pinned to the key on a keyboard. But there are some areas which don't work when you just pin a key to it. They will require you to write additional script with some conditions. And they include the jog wheel, the pitch, equalizer knobs, the gain, and the cross fader. But there is nothing to worry about because that's what we are coming to learn in the future episodes. After mapping all your keys that you want to use, what you need to do is to save your mappings. But before you save it, you may need to give it a name from here for its identification. Here you will see that before we started mapping our keys, it was reading factory default. But it is now reading custom mapping 1. Let's say I want to name it my best custom mapping. Any name you choose, it doesn't matter. Then to save your changes, you need to click here before you exit the editor. If there is anything you didn't understand from the part we have covered, let me know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends whom you think it might help. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.